for Loha, so many pictures, uh, so few pictures have surfaced. Only your pictures, where people searched for cameras, that were they asked not to take pictures during the show? I don't remember. No, they could take pictures as long as they stayed in their seats. But I really messed up, historically speaking, because when Elvis finished the show, the last one, the, and uh, they cleared the auditorium, and Elvis came out, and all the lights were off, and he walked out to the end of the ramp that they had that went out, and he was going to record those, I don't know, five songs or six songs, whatever it was, uh, for fill in for the 90 minute special that was going to be released in the United States in a couple of months. And I, the ramp ended there and I had a cheer here and uh, Tom Disk, his wife Yannick was next to me and we were watching Elvis sing and, and uh, I could hear the clicking of a camera somewhere. <laughs> I got up and I looked around and hiding behind one of the chairs was this guy <laughs> with a I can't remember the Super 8 millimeter camera. Or what? I think it was Super 8. Maybe it was 16. Who knows? Anyway, dumb me, not thinking historically. I took the camera away and I called one of the security guys, and he opened it up and he ran the film on it. And I was thinking I was a hero. I saved it, but I, what a trick! In the long run, I blew it. Verschrikkelijk. Dus uh, na de echte Aloha show heeft Elvis nog een aantal nummers uh, gedaan. Wat Ed niet wist, was dat op dat ogenblik iemand onbekend bij de groep alles filmde en ook de repetitie enzovoorts uh, op band vastlegde. Tot, El uh, tot Ed hoorde dat er gefilmd werd en hij was de vervanger van, Ed, uh, van Colonel Parker op dat ogenblik. Hij ging naar de man, nam de camera af en de camera werd meteen ontmanteld zodat er geen beelden meer van bestaan. Nu betreurt hij natuurlijk die beslissing, maar op dat ogenblik vond hij dat het nodig was um, om Elvis te behoeden dat er... Ja, Illegale opnames gemaakt werden, maar heeft er ondertussen spijt van. It's regretful that the footage didn't survive. Um, at just a couple of days ago in Graceland, a new exhibition opened, Elvis Hawaii, of Elvis and his love for his favorite state, US state. One of the most remarkable things there, and I don't know if um, you remember it, I'm going to jog your memory, was a robot, an Elvis robot. What's the story behind the Elvis robot? When we were in Hawaii, Colonel saw these robots uh, and he thought it would be a good idea to use them to advertise the upcoming special. So he made a deal with them and they had, I think, four of them going around the hotel. And the only things, they, they moved on wheels, but their arms would move up and down. And, and they had a guy with a microphone, he could talk in the microphone and it would sound as if it were coming from the robot. And I have pictures of those someplace. We talked about this once, but I can't remember. They must be back in Los Angeles in my storage room because I looked for them last week when I was thinking about this. And then when we went back to California, back to Las Vegas for the opening of the show at the, at the Hilton then, Colonel brought at least one of those robots with him and it was going around the hotel doing the same thing so and I took some pictures of that too and they must all be together someplace but I just can't remember where they are at the moment. The broadcast show obviously I was filmed but prior to that was there another rehearsal or did Elvis come in and do just the one rehearsal which was originally which was filmed just in case? No actually we came in oh about six or seven days early and uh, after the first couple of days there, we started rehearsing at midnight in a theater at the uh, Hilton Hawaiian Village. They had this round geodesic dome. It was a nice theater, not too much different from this, actually. And Elvis <laughs> it was hilarious. He was so relaxed and so cool out there. He'd come in in these wild outfits. Uh, we're, we're in Hawaii. We're, hot all the time and he comes in with a, a mink coat on and a big hat and a red feather in the hat and he'd do a little fashion show make sure everybody saw him turn around for us you know but uh, I wish I had filmed that myself I was I was there representing the colonel in case they needed any technical help from, from music or anything else uh, 
so I wasn't there to photograph anything. But we did that at least three nights, maybe even four, before uh, the official, uh, not rehearsal, the official uh, arrival was filmed. <laughs>